The NHL season is, thankfully, less than a month away, and the Vancouver Canucks are letting the Hughes family know how they feel about their little boy, as they've named Quinn the 15th captain in franchise history. That's right, Devils fans. Now, when he eventually comes over to Jersey, he'll have a bit of leadership experience on the resume. I'm joking, joking. For now, but for real, it's great for the Canucks, and he's a great selection coming off his best season. Quinn had 76 points last year in 78 games, 69 of them being assists. Nice, as he helped them finish 22nd overall in league standings. I mean, I'm joking there at the end, but the Canucks had a, I'll just call it a messy year on the personnel front. Quinn Hughes is probably their best young star, and it makes sense to build around him, but I've got to be honest, what about Pedersen, who's now 24? That's still considered a young player, right? He seems young to me, but 24 seems weirdly old in this scenario. I don't know. I'd assume his name was also thrown around the captain conversations. He's due for another contract. And in the past, there have been some rumors about him wanting out of BC, but I mean, they do still have him under RFA. It honestly could have been that the captaincy would have been a bargaining chip for him to maybe eke out a little more salary. Pedersen is also just off his best season as well with 39 goals and 102 points at 24 and at this point in his career. With constant talk of the cap going up in the next few years, I wonder what kind of contract he will be looking at. The conversation about him generally over the past few years has been interesting. I think people probably remember two seasons ago when it looked like he was taking a major step back, especially at the beginning of the year, though he turned that around and again was great last season. Regarding his deal though, Canucks Army did a good write-up a few months ago talking about comparables. Matthew Kachuk makes 9.5 as does Braden Point. Well, Huberto on a contract many fans aren't enjoying, Eichel and Barkov all make 10 or more. With the cap going up, you probably won't be surprised to hear me say that. I wouldn't be surprised to see him be one of the next players making double digit annual incomes. The more curious thing to me is term. If he signs for eight years, then he's essentially committing his prime to the Canucks, a team that's only managed the playoffs once during his tenure. I think the Matthew style four year deal might make more sense for him. Patterson does keep saying that he's in no rush to sign and wants to find a deal, so we'll see how things look. After getting the captaincy, Hughes did state in his press conference that he had to talk to Pedersen before taking it, so there's at least been communication on that front. And while it might be nothing, Canucks management isn't always known for making the best personnel decisions. Hopefully this decision helps them move forward this season. If you're the Canucks with all that talent, you really cannot be regressing. But what do you think of Hughes being named captain? Was it the right call? Should went to Pedersen or someone else. Let us know your thoughts down below.